Hi. Hey guys, my name's Toby and welcome back to Midrange Meek. Now, thank you to all of you who watched my last video and gave some feedback, that was really helpful. Now today we're going to look at an issue that a lot of people have when moving to smaller mechanical keyboard sizes, and that is the fact that they don't have dedicated media keys. Now today I'm going to show you a really easy method that requires no effort once set up, it will run every time you turn on your computer, that allow you to give access to media keys to any keyboard you want. But what I'm also going to show you is how to change the dollar sign on ANSI layout keyboards as they are the most common in the mechanical keyboard community to whatever currency you like. So if, like me, you live in a country that is not the US and you want to use your own currency symbol rather than the dollar, I'm going to show you how to change that. So let's get into the video. Okay, so before we start, I just want to thank William Worthy over on the Anpro subreddit. He's the one who first uh, pointed me towards the idea of using auto hotkey as uh, a means of getting media keys on any keyboard and it's such a simple method that I now use it all of the time. So the first thing you need to do to do this method is to go to auto hotkey's website. It's autohotkey.com but I'll have it in the description as well as a written guide for you. Once on the website there's an easy download button in the middle. You press download and download current version. I already had it have it but it's just going to be a standard Windows installer so nothing too difficult there. Then what you want to do is you want to go back onto the desktop. You don't need to open the application or anything. And you just want to right click and select new. Now under new you won't probably have as many uh, things as me because I have the office suite. But what you want to find is auto hotkey script. Click on that and it will create a new one. And you can name it whatever you like but I like to name it for what it's going to do. So um, in this case I'm going to be changing it. Uh, adding the media keys and changing the dollar sign to the pound sign. So don't worry, it's not going to stay on your uh, uh, desktop forever. We're going to move it to another folder later, but it's just easier to have it on the desktop to begin with. So you need to right click and you need to edit script. Now it will come up with some rubbish that we don't need to think about because AutoHotkey is quite a powerful uh, macro program, but it's more complicated than it needs to be for adding media keys. So the next thing you want to do is go to the description of this video, copy the code, it will be uh, nice and labelled there somewhere, and you want to paste it into, into here. Now I'll talk you through what all of these things do so you can uh, change it how you want depending on what functions you want. So essentially each line is its own macro command and uh, this side of the double colon is the uh, what key combination will initiate the macro and on this side it's the macro itself. So here we have the key combination in auto hotkey. Again I'll have the modifiers linked below but the modifiers have their own characters so that it's easy to write out. So for instance window is hashtag the windows key on the keyboard. Then in, for in this case I have windows comma set up to do the previous uh, media key. Now, if you look down the keyboard, the reason why I have those two set up is because the greater and less than signs mean they look like arrows, so they look like the previous and next symbols normally. I then have the slash for play and pause, and then uh, Windows M for uh, mute. Now, you can also have volume up and down, and I'll leave those linked in the description, but I don't tend to use them because I've got an external audio interface, so I'm just going to remove those. And that's all you have to do. If you want to remove one, you can just d take it and remove the line and it will no longer be there. But uh, I do want to keep it, so I'm going to keep that there. And then finally, we've got below, I did talk about changing your dollar sign because ANSI keyboards are probably the most popular in the mechanical keyboard community and it can be kind of annoying if you live somewhere like me. I live in the UK and you want to use the pound sign all the time, but there's only the dollar on the keyboard. Um, so it works in the same way. Here is your keyboard shortcut and on standard keyboards shift 4 will get you the dollar sign and then you've got the output. Now media keys don't have their own character so you do have to uh, write out this sort of weird bit of code but for pound signs, euro signs, or any currency symbol they do have their own character 
but of course you can't type it so the best way to get it is to search so say I was looking for the euro I can search for the euro look on the website uh, the Google page that comes up and you bet you can find it anywhere you just have to copy it and paste it but I want the pound sign so I'm gonna leave it like that so next just save it control s and close it and you effectively have completed it now you can double click it you'll see an auto hotkey uh, symbol in the bottom I've got a number a number open at the moment but you'll see the auto hotkey symbol at the bottom and or in this sort of task tray and you'll know it's working and you can tell it's working because when you go into a browser and press shift 4 it's going to output the pound sign and if you go into a music application like Spotify and do your assigned media keys you see play pause uh, forward and backwards all work and that's brilliant except now you've got this ugly sort of script symbol on your desktop which some people may be fine with but I don't really like and also every time you open your computer you're gonna have to double click on this to make sure that it works now there is an easy way around this and that's what I'm going to show you now if you go into the run application on Windows you want to type in this command again it'll all be in the description so it'll be nice and easy but it is shell colon startup click OK and it takes you to this page now I already have this on my computer normally but if you didn't if this is the first time this folder should be empty now what you would then do is simply drag the uh, script from the desktop into the startup folder you can access this through file explorer but you need to do some funky things with uh, view hidden files and things. so it's easier to just use run but essentially that's it now the script will run every time you turn on your computer and your media keys and uh, what do you call it your uh, pound sign sorry your uh, currency symbol will be on there as well thank you for watching today's video now if you liked it please give it a like and please subscribe if you want to see more videos Coming up, we've got some videos about how to modify your stabilizers to make them sound and feel a lot nicer, but on the cheap. And also loads of other mid-range keyboard-based videos. And if you've got any suggestions, feedback or questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as I said in the video, all of the information about today's tutorial is in the description. Auto Hotkey is a really powerful piece of software and you can do a lot more than just media keys but hopefully this will give you the basis to start up and get those media keys back onto your keyboard. Thank you and we'll see you again soon.